reminding me of an underwhelming movie. Okay, let's see. Cabin in the woods, mysterious person standing outside with a machete, and a bunch of college kids being, well, college kids. Man, we haven't even started the game and they're throwing all the horror cliches right at us. And before anybody mentions it, the developers themselves said that the horror cliches were meant to be in this game. Yeah, we know. And we respect the fact that they acknowledge it. But that don't mean shit to us. They're still getting counted as sins. Don't you guys think this is a little bit- Oh, come on. She deserves it. Obvious bitch character that will not make it out alive by the end of this game. Hannah! Hero character who said this might be a cruel prank goes along with the prank anyway. Because reasons! Yeah, just hide under the bed like you're five, you idiots. No one's gonna notice you there. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Parents leaving their kids alone for the weekend, cliche. By the way, as an added disclaimer, get used to me saying cliche in this video. You're gonna hear it a lot. Ugh boots. These wonky ass controls. Unopenable doors. Hell, I don't even know if unopenable is an actual word. Well, it is now. Mike's stupid shit-eating grin. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Class president, huh? Stereotypical jock? Smooth, Mike. Real smooth. Wait, who takes their clothes off before making out? Fucking amateurs? Selfie stick. You guys are jerks. You know that? Um, Sam, you went along with a prank. You are in no position to be talking about anything. Josh. Josh. Useless Josh. Um, Hannah, let me get this straight, love. You ran off into the freezing cold weather, all alone, by yourself, in the mountains, all because some dumbasses played a prank on you. Uh, sorry, love, we're gonna have to call this relationship off. I don't like my women to have low self-esteem. I mean, I get it, they tore with your emotions, but if you can't take a prank, you gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself. Whoa, splitting from the group plot cliche. Ah, quick time events, run! Although, to be fair, quick time events actually work in this game, unlike some other games that I know, hint, hint. <laughs> Not gonna name any names, but uh, you get the point. Jesus fuck shit! Well, there goes lame jump scare number one. Oh, by the way, people, just FYI, there's a lot of jump scares in this game. Some of them are actually pretty good. The rest of them suck. The ones that are good are either gonna get a sin reduction or a like, depending on how good they are. The ones that suck, I'm either gonna say lame, weak, predictable, or try harder. God, of course she would use her fucking phone as a flashlight. That drains battery, dummy, and then you won't be able to call anybody if you were to get in trouble. <laughs> Lame! Game does not have a run button. Sorry, that walk faster ain't cutting it. Game rips off the premonition mechanic from Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Lame! Tripping and falling while running away from danger cliche. Dropping your only means of contact cliche. Discount predator vision. No! <laughs> Yeah, you guys literally saw them fall backward, and yet Beth still manages to cling onto the edge from this angle. Wow, with this therapy session, I'm getting some serious Silent Hill Shattered Memories flashbacks. Please do not remind me of that game. Yo, Peter, give me my space, bruh. Back the fuck up. Hey guys, you know this video game that you're playing? Yeah, let's open it like a movie, because that's the next logical step, right? This is the evolution of video games. No, it's not. Also, 20 minutes after playing the game, now it's time for opening credits to remind you of the game that you are currently playing, just in case you forgot. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Exposition by radio. Also, you notice that the developers pretty much just gave away spoilers for the rest of the game. You notice how they said that the twins were missing and not dead? What is the golden rule when it comes to death, people? If the bodies haven't been found, they're not confirmed dead. So the surprise that you see later on in the game is not a surprise at all. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently Unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. Ah, building on sacred ground. We're going to pull that trope out of the horror basket, huh? Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. See, this is how I know that Josh is fucked up from the get-go. Hey guys, you know what sounds like a good idea? Let's go back to the lodge where my sisters went missing. Possibly murdered. Cause that sounds totally awesome and not weird at all. Let's party like we're fucking porn stars. Well, if we're gonna party like porn stars, I expect to see a lot of gangbangs, glory holes, and bukkakis. Oh, we're not gonna have any of those in this game, are we? 
<sighs> you disappoint me, game. Oh, son, you thought we were done with opening credits? Haha, <laughs> sucker! Also, discount hunk. In the pines, in the pines, where the sun don't ever shine. Why the hell is that theme song not being played here? It fits perfectly! Wait, so there's just this one bus that drops him off at this specific location? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Wow, they're not even trying to be subtle. Way to ruin the tension, guys. Here is Sam, who is now currently the most attractive woman in this game since Hannah is out of the picture, and yet nobody is even remotely trying to be romantically involved with her. What a bunch of fucking losers. Hello? Someone there? Hello? Is someone there, cliche? Sam dresses a little too similar to Ellen from Folklore, and I cannot let that slide. Whoa, 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 hold on a minute. So if Sam is supposedly adventurous, then why is curiosity not one of her highest character traits? Oh, Chris, out of nowhere! I found something kinda amazing. Everybody in the history of everything who has ever said that line has always exaggerated. I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. You gotta see for yourself, cliche. No, don't point the gun at her, you idiot! Chris's victory dance. Sin on the developers for actually giving you the option to shoot the squirrel. And if you did shoot the squirrel, you are a shithead beyond measure. Your ass just got sacked. Yeah, except you're not competing, dummy. So, doesn't really matter. <laughs> just like going to the prom. Yeah, cause riding a cable car in this creepy Resident Evil 4 mountain and not making out with Sam is totally like prom. Totally like prom. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay, third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh, that's how we met. First of all, worst story ever. Second, girls hitting puberty in third grade. Jessica's rather disturbing smile. Eh, lame. Alright, alright, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Okay, so here's a question. Why would you go to a lodge in a mountain during the middle of winter if you didn't care about nature of any kind? You kind of went partial retard there, Chris. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. Oh, someone else is definitely coming. Just not in the way you'd like. Did you see this view? Uh, take a look at this gorgeous view that looks like the apocalypse. End of the world, bitches! Oh my god, look everybody, it's the character that you're all supposed to hate because that's what the game dictates. Hey look, a black guy! So you know the game will do its damnedest to make sure that he is the most difficult to keep alive. Damn, and he's carrying her bags for her? My read meter's detecting some underlying racism here. What do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Also, Mike looks like a discount Francis York Morgan or Nathan Drake. Take your pick. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? Well, someone's got their panties all up in a bunch. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. No option to romance for all the gay people playing. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Oh, stop it, Em. Just stop. Well, you're so obviously trying to catch up with Mike. It's so pathetic. Don't try to fool me. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm so, oh, I'm getting some real life flashbacks. Skip. Oh! <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Guy spotting his girlfriend with another man and automatically assuming that she's cheating on him, cliche. A real life sin that's being implemented in this game. <laughs> Shut up. I know some of you guys are guilty of this. <laughs> Weak. <laughs> what the hell is this Macy Gray crap that's being played in the background? I try to say goodbye and not choke. Try to walk away and I'm done. Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. <laughs> That's cause it is! Mike misses the perfect opportunity to teabag Jessica right here, right now. Yeah, it's so nice out here though. Pretty breathtaking. Yeah, that was a pretty bad pun. Two out of ten, GCN. Why is there no option to pick both? Oh. 
Did that startle you? Um, not really, Peter. Let's try, though. Previously on this video game that wants to format itself like a TV show. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. Cell phone addiction. I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sis. Stop. I just meant that- No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. Liar! Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Pardon my ignorance, because I don't go to a lodge in the middle of winter, but why is it iced from the inside? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? See what I mean by Josh being fucked up? What a weirdo! I'm okay! Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Chris refers to Jim as climbing class. <laughs> Lame. So... I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Aren't you fuckers a little old to be burning army dudes? Or are you just a couple of sociopaths? Either way, it's a sin. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Okay, so why doesn't Josh bring everybody else over to this window so that they're not sitting out in the freezing cold? Oh, I'm sorry. Did common sense take over for a moment there? <laughs> My bad. Carry on, video game. <gasps> Door closing by itself, cliche. This terribly photoshopped picture. And now it brings to yours the infamous crotch shot. Wow, really? Inferno? That's a little bit on the nose. <laughs> Predictable. I'll be here all week. <laughs> really? You tried to get away with it twice? We'll do. Yeah, come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Uh-oh, my read meters are taking a dick measuring contest. Skip. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? I am. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Um, aren't these people supposed to be friends? Listen, guys, I had a group of friends like this at one point in time, and I don't remember us getting ready to scrap with each other the moment we got to our getaway. And we weren't exactly the most sane people, okay? Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. <laughs> I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down to get real. Stop it! Shut up, Josh! Let them fight! Let them fight! Let them fight! Let them fight! Aw, you pansy. Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos. La 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 la, woman is talking about her shopping again. La 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 la. Because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Matt, you are doing a magnificent job at picking your girlfriends. <laughs> a kappa. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm. We can get very warm. This never happens. Also, splitting from the group plot cliche again. Exiled. Sexiled. Sexiled? Really? Is that what kids are saying these days? I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Mike turns down a threesome. Come on, bruh, you should know by now. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. Selfie. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Okay, need I remind you, we are like two hours into this game. I have never seen so much teasing before in my life with absolutely zero payoff. And need I remind you, these are college kids, okay? I was in college once. None of us, man or woman, were ever this patient. Reveal of a villain hiding behind one of our characters through a window cliche. It's like a little adventure. A sexcapade. Sexcapade? Shut up. Just shut up. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean, it's not our fault they ran into the woods. Um, yeah, it kind of is. Weak. 
As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. Huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, those aren't limbs, honey. Oh, oh my gosh, are you okay? <laughs> oh god, you totally ate shit. Oh, shut up, bitch. You ate shit literally just a couple minutes ago yourself. <laughs> Weak. Really? You tried to get away with it again? Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. I don't care if she is being sarcastic. That is a really stupid thing to say. <laughs> eh, try harder. Five out of ten, GCN. Stand back, Debbie Downer. Debbie Downer. Yes? <laughs> yes! Obvious trolling. It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that... You came, Sam. Oh, Sam certainly came, just not in the way you'd like. Now that will get you over your sisters. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> All right. Five, girl. Okay, I am legit surprised that that wasn't a butterfly effect that altered the future. I straight dissed him. <gasps> <laughs> nah, try harder. No, come on! Sam, word for word, echoes our thoughts. Why would you do that? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Sorry, Sam. I'm going to have to agree with Chris here. This is literally the only fun thing you guys have done since you got here. And you being mad about it? Uh-uh-uh. What in God's name are you wearing? Hey, weren't you supposed to find the spirit board together? Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Are you basically confirming that you two didn't do it? You pansies. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Ha <laughs> ha. Not so subtle foreshadowing. <laughs> Lame. What are you doing, weirdo? What? I came back. Good boy. Now obey. Damn. Whoop. Pussy whipped. Thanks for helping me find my bag. I know I can be a little high maintenance. Okay, I know this is a video game, but I don't know any high maintenance woman that willingly goes to a lodge in the mountains during the middle of winter. Hey, if you know any of them, please show them to me. I will gladly take that L. You ever done it outside before? Outside of what? My car. I like your car. Roomy. This ain't roomy enough for you? More sexual. Teasing. Just slide it up in there. Ah! Where's the option that says, bitch, please, I know you playing me. Ha ha ha. Get wrecked, Matt. <laughs>
I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Too much high maintenance. Wow, convenient sex book is convenient. Okay. Jess, slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. <laughs> oh, women, you and your goddamn phones. I feel like someone's watching us. I always feel like somebody's watching me. <sighs> I'm sorry, I think... I'm a little freaked out, and it's hard for me to, like, keep this up, and- Oh, la 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 la, all I'm hearing is excuses, la 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 la. You wanna ruin our fun that bad? Character within the game is echoing my exact thoughts towards the developers. You can't! You can't ruin our good time, because Michael and I are gonna fuck! That's right, we are going to have sex, and it's gonna be hot! Ha! <laughs> the teenager making a stupid decision, going outside their safe place, taunting whoever's out there right before they have sex cliche. A hand's gonna come through the door, a hand's gonna come through the door! <laughs> Called it. <laughs> Weak. Oh, that opens. That explodes. Are we like in a movie right now? Eh, not quite. You're in an interactive movie, which is basically a video game disguised as a movie. There was a message on this answering machine I found, and it it, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who had just gotten out of prison and that there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. I mean... Maybe that's whoever was down in the basement before. Under the floorboards, in the library, the light. Well, there was that guy I told you well, about. Wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. So, let me get this straight, Ash. After everything Chris just said to you, you honestly think that he's trying to make you feel better? Okay. Video game cliche number eight, press the button, or in this case the analog stick, three times to do whatever. Oh, first person point of view of critical plot moments. And that was another lame jump scare, so another sin. Uh, pull up surprises. I think I'm beginning to understand you far better now. Well, I hate to break it to you, Peter, but you, like many other people out there, are quite wrong about GCN. You're kind of like one of those people who think we hate video games just because we nitpick them. We find you rather... Amusing. Don't be too hard on Joshua. He's been through. He's been through so much. Look, Peter, I respect you more than most people, but I need you to fuck off, okay? Josh is a creep. I've known that since the moment I laid eyes on him, and I know he's the one behind all these schemes. I've been watching horror movies for far too long to fall for this nonsense. And now for a flurry of quick time events. Oh, whoa, he had that lighter with him the whole time? Wow, we are going full Uncharted 2 here. The Try harder! <laughs> Try harder! Wow, we straight up went saw in this game. Hi. Okay, 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 this is gonna be okay. <laughs> the it's gonna be okay when it's really not cliche. Game actually thinks this is a difficult decision for me. Chris, what happened? Josh, Josh, what? Dude, you said Wait, not what? right in front of us, man. Characters panicking so much after a tragic event that they can't coherently explain what just happened, cliche. No, don't split, don't split, don't split, don't split, you idiots. I'm trying to help you. That doesn't really answer my question. And this game you're playing, you understand that it's not good for you. It's not good for anyone. Game unintentionally bashes itself. Mike's cool and all, but his section here goes on way too long. Oh, Mike, when'd you get all messy? This is what he looked like the last time we saw him. Come on, game. Did you really think we wouldn't notice that? Opening a safe with a piece of wood. Hey, look, he found Jason's machete. All he needs to find is Michael Myers' kitchen knife and Freddy's glove and the trifecta is complete. Oh, wait, that's not gonna happen. Um, Mike, how exactly are you holding that machete without a sheath? Really? That whole point of the room was for the stupid rat? Obvious trap is obvious. I pity the fools who actually fell for it. I see that Mike is attempting his best James Sunderland impersonation, but is failing miserably. What a waste of ammo. Stalking? I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. Okay, when the so-called bitch character is making more sense than anybody else in the group, somebody done fucked up. 
I mean, I'm not surprised since the profile did say she was intelligent, but the game says, fuck you, we gotta save that surprise for later. Matt, we gotta get to that radio! This is one of the rare decisions in the game where it legit doesn't matter what you choose. You will go to the tower regardless. After all, Emily is persuasive. For real, what is it with you and going back to the lodge? You just want to hide out in your room and cry. That's a pretty weak insult considering some psycho out there is clearly terrorizing you and... Didn't you say this earlier? You know, I'm kind of not giving a shit about my panties anymore. I kind of just want to slip. Agree. Yeah, thought so. Oh, hey, Sam. I almost forgot you were in this game. Hero character listening to classical music while taking a bath cliche. Scene does not contain boobs and that ass. I wish for Sam to walk around with this towel for the rest of the game. Unfortunately, the game will deny my request. Uh-uh-uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to try harder. Uh-uh-uh. Open your eyes. Wow, I am thoroughly impressed, Psycho. Where did you get those camera angles? Better yet, how did you manage to render out that video and use it on the projector in like six minutes? Hey, there's that perpetrator popping out of nowhere to incapacitate our hero trope. Oh, screen tearing. Cue the theme of Snake Eater. No, what are you doing, idiot? Don't leave the axe. <laughs> Why is it so windy all of a sudden? Ah, the sudden weather change right before they reach some more important cliche. At the earliest, not until dawn. Roll credits. Oh my god, he's scared. He's coming for me. That's why you should have kept the axe, Matt. Good job, hero. Django! Let me think! Don't think, you idiot! Just get me out of here! Game tricks you into thinking you can kill Emily at this moment. <laughs> really? Doors closing by themselves again? Wait a minute. Did you just see that? Ah, the old ghost trick. One character sees something, the other one doesn't. The one character who did see the ghost is like, did you see that? And then character who saw the ghost goes into a panic. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, whoa, you gotta be kidding. Fuck it. I don't even care about these jump scares anymore. I'm just gonna automatically ring every dumb one that I see. Oh, for fuck's sake, Chris, just turn around. You were looking at your phone, you dip. What are you tweeting? Hashtag, there's a freaking ghost after us. <laughs> Actually saying hashtag in a situation like this automatically gets you a sin. And cue the creepy doll moving by itself. Tell us that he's going to come after us all. Now. <laughs> also, why does Chris walk right into it? Where did it go? Oh, no, you've got to be kidding me. Repulsive. What? It's just bacon. Game actually gives the option to split, which is the absolute worst decision. And not only that, it tries to reinforce the splitting from the group plot cliche. Hey, look, round two of does Chris want to save Ashley or not? Psycho has gloves here. No gloves in the next shot. Good, 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 good. I mean, how does that feel, right? How does it feel? Do you enjoy feeling terrorized, humiliated? I mean, panicked? All those emotions that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off! No! Nope! No, no, no! They're gone! Okay, the reveal of the psycho is sinful as hell for a few reasons. First of all, it was so pathetically obvious that it was Josh. You wanna know how I know? He's the creepiest out of the bunch, he's the person that we see the least, and up to this point, he is the only person that we haven't played as. Secondly, we have the petty revenge plot of, oh, you guys pulled a prank on my sisters that possibly got them killed, so I'm gonna pull a prank on you guys and possibly get you all killed. Thirdly, Josh had all this time to set up these elaborate traps and nobody noticed anything? Despite the fact that they're all spread out? Fourthly, way to ruin the tension of the game by having it all be just one big elaborate prank. Fifthly, how does he know how Hannah felt? He was pissed drunk and I tried to wake him up as Beth. And finally, is the game really gonna try to convince me that just cause Josh's father was in the movie business, that Josh himself knows how to master all the props? Despite the fact that there were clues that indicated Josh's father was distant? Nope, ain't buying it game. We interrupt this Until Dawn game to bring you the opening of Tomb Raider. Oh God. Here goes 600 bucks. Okay, never mind, Emily. I'm done with you. If you spend $600 on any piece of clothing, you deserve to die.
Why the hell is this even an option when he clearly saw you? I, I, I'm just having a really hard time then figuring out that he would like do anything to her Jess. I saw what he did to her with my own eyes. Come on, Mike. Come on. You saw something yank Jess right through a window with ease. Do you honestly think that human Josh was capable of that? Stop. <laughs> You know what that sound is? It's the sound of never kissing Ashley, you pussy! Stop! Ah, the old villain that's gonna antagonize one of our characters to see if they'll do anything drastic technique. Cause I didn't do none of that shit in Telltale's Walking Dead. I'm gonna beat his head off! Don't listen to him! Not worth it! Mike says it's not worth it when he's pretty much been kicking Josh's ass this entire time. You should go back to the lodge, man. What? what, what? Why? I'm gonna watch him until the morning. No, Mike. No more splitting. Wow, Emily has officially become the Tomb Raider. Well, damn, Emily. Don't lean on the door that you just closed after a creature is chasing after you because then this happens. Where's Matt? Is he okay? Matt, oh god, we, we couldn't use the cable car, so we climbed the tower, and then it fell, and we were down in the mine, like, way down, down in this terrifying freaking mine shaft. Hold on, hold on. And, and then it, it was Matt and me down there, and... Oh god, I think that Matt might be dead. Wait, what? Ow! Emily, what happened? Damn it, Ash! Were you not paying attention? She literally just explained everything to you! You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. Flamethrower guy would be excellent at... Uh, making sense. Yeah, making sense. He is definitely making more sense than anybody in this story. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. God damn it. I was really hoping to go through this entire horror story without there having to be some sort of curse involved. This mountain range is cursed with this Wendigo prophecy. Oh, fuck off. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Haha, <laughs> very clever. But still, roll credits. First, the wind you go. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. Again, he keeps you alive and aware and feast on your organs, one piece at a time. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Sure. Wendigos are discount rakes. What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. Damn it, Sam. Right when you were starting to make sense, you had to make us roll credits for the third freaking time. Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Um, Mike, did you forget you spent nearly an hour in that sanatorium alone? And then you just got back with the group, and now you want to split again? You are really testing our patience, bruh. Um, what is... Huh? What is that? Ash. Um... Oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh my it's god. It's nothing. Oh, it no, just it, no, it no, bit no. me it and... bit you? What bit you? The... The Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Are they really babbling about whether or not the bite is contagious? Flamethrower guy just explained that the curse of the Wendigo arises when someone resorts to cannibalism. Cannibalism! It's not a fucking zombie. This ain't Resident Evil, son. He's just trying to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. I can't believe I actually got a trophy for that. You know, at this point, it kind of makes me wonder how the Wendigos don't automatically come rampaging in after hearing these gunshots. I mean, don't they have insanely good hearing? I happen to see a map of this place, so we're not flying blind. Mike, you are talking to a wolf! <laughs> Projector used to spill crucial plot details and advance the narrative cliche. Unlimited. Shotgun! Headband flashlight. Yes, fine, close it, but we gotta keep moving. Can you just catch up, please? Trying to split from the group again! How? 
How did they manage to get that far ahead in such a short period of time? They weren't exactly sprinting. I'm gonna keep going. You should head back to the lodge. I've gotta get Mike. <sighs> I'm done. How does he survive that fall? Convenient weapon is convenient. Mike, you have achieved a whole new rank of stupidity. Why would you lock the gate with your infinite ammo shotgun? Get out of my why didn't you save us, Josh? Okay, so Josh is clearly hallucinating here. But in his defense, even though I don't want to, he was pissed drunk when the prank took place. Now, whether or not he was in on the prank before he got pissed drunk, we'll never know. And since it doesn't bother to care about details, wow, we are straight up turning into the thing here, man. That's super rad. Wait a minute, I thought you reached the dance part. Well, I didn't say that. I said it was okay. You didn't like the word any sharks or anything in here. Are, are you guys for real? You're in a mine, in a mountain. Last time I checked, sharks don't live in mountains. If you help me up, I can go back to tell the others we're okay. Or you could just all go back the way you came and stick together, but of course I'm the only one that's making sense here. Oh, you're not real! No, you're not! Hello! Oh! Oh! oh. Wow, so these things actually retain their memories? Well, that doesn't completely ruin the mystique. Wow, Matt, I legit forgot you were in this game. I bet the devs didn't think that people would be able to keep you alive. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on them! So, I'm guessing Sam possesses the Ring of Ice Resistance, right? Because that's the only logical explanation as to why she's not turning into a human popsicle right now. Hey! Hey! Running into a locked door while running away from danger cliche. Sam. False alarm, bitch! If you manage to get Sam killed like my buddy did, hero characters sacrifice themselves to save their friends cliche. Well, of course the rescuers would show up after everything has already been settled. You know, these devs are kind of reinforcing my suspicion of racism. Dude who played Matt is nowhere to be found in the credits. I think this genre is the wave of the future, and I think that um, once people see the potential behind it uh, of getting to interact with the drama that you're witnessing unfold um, in such a realistic way um, that this this is how entertainment's going to be from now on. Interactive movies? The future of video games? Uh, no. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg.